I got both things going on here. Take your oh, headphones take off. off. Oh, I see. Take that. There you go. Hi, this is Uncle Ted Nugent. Damn it. You just <laughs> won the ultimate redneck dream day because I was born with a redneck. Registration. Registration. Register yeah, the damn okay. neck. What's your name? This is Sean. Hey, Sean, say hi to Ted. Hey, Ted, what's happening? Hey, Sean, how you doing? Great, man, great. Congratulations. Hey. Does this mean he won? No, he signed up. Oh, you signed up. Okay. Don't give it away. Give Hang, it away. Hang now. on one give, it away. give it away. Give it away now. Give it away now. Uh, hi, MMQ. Say hi to Ted. Hi, Ted. Greetings. What's your name, dude? Terry. You signed up for the Redneck Dream Day. Awesome. Complete with Ted Nugent Bullet. Congratulations, Terry, you little monkey. <laughs> The planet's premier classic rock station, WMMQ, East Lansing, Classic Rock 94. Oh, look at that, he's air guitaring again. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sexy I can hardly stand my shirt. WMMQ, it's the Tim and Deb Radio Show and MMQ. Ted Nugent's our guest for another 45 minutes or so. Uh, little Miss Danger uh, ass. Oh, I love that song. What a greaseball that little composition turned out. Why do I remember Miami Vice with that? Yeah, it was the theme song for a Miami Vice episode. Episode titled "Little Miss Danger Act. Thank you. Yeah, and I was on the uh, the little the uh, Miami Vice just prior to that called "Definitely Miami," mm -hmm. which is Linda's favorite. Linda, by the way, Linda, definitely Miami. <laughs> now, now you uh, you were a bad guy in that. Oh, I was a bastard. Yeah, I I, I was born in Detroit, so it was like uh, what do they call that? Um, uh, Michiganian, Michigan. Yeah, Michigan yeah. No, but no, what are you uh, talking about? When you when you're typecast. Oh, oh, <laughs> typecast. oh okay. <laughs> the, the producer. Like, you're having a little trouble getting Ted out of the yeah. outdoorsy image thing. Yeah, <laughs> we the producer said to say we need a dirty bastard who can kill bad guys, keep the drugs, and beat the hell out of women. Cool. No, Ted. <laughs> so, <Ted! laughs> so I went down there. Here's a great story. You ready for a great Miami Vice story? I'm, oh, this I'm, is I awesome. Can't wait. This is cute. I'm down there. Miami is having this almost hurricane conditions. They're trying to depict this episode as being a heat wave. You know, everybody was always sweating. They're always referring to the sweat and the fans yes. were going. That yes, black FBI were. agent came in and wanted to get the gal. And the yeah. Oh, yeah. It was cute. And they had me come down, dress me up like I was in a gay rights parade, which I thought was really fun. It was the 80s. And uh, not that there's anything wrong. It was the 80s. It was the 80s, yes. I had some of that puce, chartreuse thing going on. Nice <laughs> pastel. The baggy pad pastel. Nice. Yeah, 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 tense. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I was uh, I was down there, and they, they, the prop guy came up, and he said, this is the scene, Ted, where you uh, have a shootout. And he goes, you've ever handled a gun? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, you think? <laughs> and it was funny, and this is, this is the odd, God's honest truth. They were using a Taurus forty caliber, which was the exact gun that I carried at the time. Oh, okay. The exact gun, which means every time I came to the set, because these props were everywhere, and we've all heard the horror stories of people killing each other with oh, props. Sure. So I would disassemble <clears throat> my Taurus forty caliber every day to make sure that <clears throat> nobody picked it up and went, and started shooting people. Oh, yeah. So during the shootout scene, they said, all right, tell us where you come around this pile of sand, and you, you approach a Crockett, and uh, you go, you got something for me? And this is where you're supposed to pick up the cash, the payoff for the drug bust and everything. Oh. And, it, and, and Crockett, of course, has got this bulletproof attache case, real practical. <laughs> and uh, uh, TV is really cute. Real and they said, all right, Ted, this is where you come around the you come around the sand pile, man, and you like have your hands and you're like a gay outfit and in the pants. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, you say, Crocky, you got something for me. And as fast as you can, I want you to pull that gun out and shoot him two times. And he'll pull the bulletproof attache case up and stop the bullets. So I said, okay, I think I got that. Real, real tough script memory, you know. <laughs> hey, hey, Crockett, you got something for me? Or whatever his name was. It wasn't Crockett at the time. He was undercover. But anyhow, I come around the sand pile and they go, okay, quiet on the set and take da, 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 and roll. And they got the thing. And and action. And I come around the set and I go, hey, what was his name? Bernard or whatever his name was. Hey, Boo Boo, you got something for me? Bang! bang! And they went, cut, 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 cut. Not that fast. <laughs> because, because he never lifted the attache case up, I'd have killed him. <laughs> I'd have put two right in his sternum. And uh, they went, no, no, slow that down a little bit. And I said, okay, you want me to actually be like an actor? Lame. <laughs> you want, want me to lame it down a little yeah, bit? Yeah, so it I, down. I came down and I took a breath. Hey, Ber Burnett, that was his name. Hey, Burnett, you got something for me. I know Linda's in Jackson right now going, Burnett! His name was Burnett! It's Burnett! Come on! So I heard you, Linda. And uh, I said, hey, Burnett, you got something for me. And I took a breath, and then I reached in and pulled out this pistol, and, and he pulled up the briefcase, and supposedly I hit the briefcase, and he saved himself. And then the shooter started shooting at me from the mountains, and I'm, I'm returning fire. <laughs> it was a riot, man. He said, bam, 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 
they supposedly shot me a bunch of times, dead center, and I crumpled to the ground. Great dying scene. You, did, you die well? <laughs> oh, I died beautifully. The beautiful thing about me dying is that when I hit the sand, if you look very closely, and they repeat this program all the time on TNN, so I'm told. I can't stand to watch it. And uh, I, when I hit the dust, when I hit the sand, if you look closely, I never let the gun hit the dirt. Oh, he's going to hold it up just in case we had to do it again. Because if you let the gun get in the sand, it won't function. Right. Yeah, it's gritty. And uh, being, a, being a true connoisseur of all things firepower, I made sure we didn't taint the firearms. <laughs> save the sand. gun. Save, save whatever gun. you do. Save the gun. You know, what a dream come true for a kid, you know? What a riot. Cops and robbers on Cops the TV and, shooting, and rock man. and roll, you know? Oh, man, I live the American dream. I give birth to the American dream. By the way, call 911. The EPA is going to shut you down. Oh, I know, dude. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate that. I'm 10 pounds that. later. It's the least I could do. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm serious. I'm <laughs> serious, dude. They, they're wearing masks upstairs. Yeah. I don't have know what you, the hell you ate. Have you ever given birth to Stranglehold? <laughs> <laughs> the paint, the paint's off the wall. The country <laughs> western <laughs> artists are actually playing rock now. Oh, my God. It's hysterical. I'm like, I'm like, hey, Ted, uh, Ted are you, did you die in there? I'm yelling through the door. He's gave like, hey, birth. Oh, man, I I'm gave birth, birth to the devil's child. It's up there. All Satan himself's in a bowl right upstairs now on display. <laughs> I couldn't be more proud. Why okay. are you it, pounding on the door bothering him anyway? I'm trying to break his concentration. Jesus. You can't <laughs> not enjoy a good dump to stranglehold. I couldn't My believe it. God, the plumbing just goes, I'm with you. I, I hear you. I, Feedback I, guitar. I wanted, ah! I wanted to ask you what that was like. Oh. Run one out the stranglehold. Of course, you turned it up before I went in there. I know, I did. Great. I did. I know. Oh, that way you man. wouldn't hear me put the bumper sticker in your car. I don't know if... I don't Is that know what you were doing out that, there? Dude, <laughs> yeah. he did. Did you really? On the, on the beaver? <laughs> You're a cute man. Right uh, over the front window, I hope. Wait, wait till you see it. Well, I want you to know that I was in Lansing yesterday talking to my elected officials, making sure that they realize that there is a we the people thing going on out here. Mm -hmm. And I'm very uh, pleased to report that Sue Tabor and Mickey Mortimer and the good men and women who actually serve we the people are dedicated to that uh, common pulse that permeates the good working community of America. But when I went in there, <laughs> well, I don't even know if I can talk about this. Well, think about it now. Maybe, maybe I better concentrate have. on the pen. <laughs> concentrate on the pen, <laughs> my friend, and think think before you speak. I know All this right. is tough. But. Well, I train I train with federal marshals and the Secret Service guys, and they gave me some special uh, I don't know what you'd call them special uh, plaques. They gave me some special permits. Cool. So I put I was parking in an area that I didn't know if I could be down to feed the meter often enough. Uh -huh. So I took one of my uh, special Secret Service. <laughs> Um, permits, and I put it in the window of my Suburban. See what happened? I said, uh, 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 official U.S. government vehicle. I don't know how <laughs> illegal that is, <laughs> but I put it on there. Do you want to know that some damn ticket cop gave me a ticket anyhow? Uh, <laughs> of course they did. Oh, yeah, right. This is Secret Service, all right. <laughs> uh, well, man. We, we took care because now you have the right bumper sticker on your car. Now they'll just shoot me. <laughs> oh, you're going to love it. Pow! It goes great with the colors. I'll it's, bet it, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, nine twenty one. Back in a minute with Ted. All right, classic rock ninety four nine WMMQ, the Tim and Deb Radio Show. Nine twenty eight in the morning. Tim Barron, Deborah Hart, Keith Pellegrini, and Ted Nugent. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning, children. I'll have you know that Bev, our receptionist, is wilting upstairs. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, her hair straight. <laughs> <laughs> I gave birth to Afro Sheen in a cloud uh, in the new, right. new mist oh, form. Yes, fantastic. And, all right, so quick reminder here, uh, Ted's special presentation, Spirit of the Michigan Wild, 1 o'clock on Saturday at the MUCC Outdoor-Rama. Very important we get this business out of the way. Also, remember, he'll be signing copies of his New York Times bestseller, God, Guns, and Rock and Roll, right yeah. after the presentation. And I know he said it plenty of times himself, but, you know, I can't say it enough. TedNugent.com for every conceivable thing. <laughs> yes. All things new. But, Tim, it is amazing. Dot com. Did we, I say Ted Nugent? Ted Nugent. Right. Dot com. And there's a talk back there, and we have ourselves a little campfire, so bring the spiritual marshmallows, you little monkeys. <laughs> and can I give a salute to Americans in their rush hour? It is so invigorating, so encouraging, so confident building to see Americans rush hour, getting up early, setting their alarm clocks, busting their ass, and going to work. God bless you all. No wonder we're the only place in the world worth living because we know that productivity is why God made us. You are the best out there. God bless everybody who has a job. <laughs>
Well said. Yeah. New CD, Full Bluntal Nugety. Say that again. What a title that is. What is that title? <laughs> what, what is Full Bluntal Nugety? Oh, beautiful. You know, you're the only guy that's actually said it right. You're kidding. You're the only guy to go full on nu- full nudity. Okay. F- full <laughs> full Nugent Blunt. <laughs> they, I mean, Nugent they got Blunt. right in front of them. <laughs> and they still don't know how to say it. It's it, Just for those that are not paying attention, Full Bluntal Nugety is actually a take on a colloquialism of full frontal nudity. No. Really? Really? I swear to God, no. I, you don't know how many people don't don't relate the two. They don't know that that's You're what kidding. I did. No, Ted. Oh, absolutely. I've done radio. The last two years, I've done 300 concerts, and I'll go into these radio stations across the country, and they can't say full bluntal nudity. They, it doesn't ring a bell, but they don't know where I got, got it from. Oh, come on. Oh, I swear to God. Radio guys aren't that stupid. Uh, that's I, oh. Well, yes, they are. <laughs> you know better, Tim Barry. Well, you little banana <laughs> monkey, you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, what do you want? Uh, what do you think of your bumper sticker? Have you upgraded that car I or what? I think let's rock. God bless the heroes. You want to talk about nine one one, pal? Okay. Whew. America really is the coolest place in the world, but I would just recommend that people go rent a copy of Braveheart, mm-hmm. The Patriot. Great one. Oh, I love that one. Schindler's List. Yep. Uh, and Pearl Harbor. Mm-hmm. And if you don't get pissed off that we haven't learned our lesson yet, you were doing something as I was driving up here this morning, Tim and Deb, talking about level of awareness and whether we are on red alert or not. Right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, settle down, take a deep breath, and listen. My name is Uncle Ted. Yes, I'm just a stupid, greasy, all-American, red, white, and blue, middle finger, erect guitar player. But pay close attention. Anybody that doesn't wake up every day and remain on at least orange alert, we should all be on yellow, which means relaxed yet ready. We should at least be on orange alert at all. This is a military term. I'm lucky, Tim. I train with the greatest heroes in the world. I do an annual SWAT maneuver and a Navy SEAL get down where we do this combat training because I take great, great pride and responsibility to be prepared to protect myself and my family. Anybody that is not prepared to protect themselves and their family, you, my friends, are Michael Jackson fans. <laughs> you qualify as ultimate numbnuts. We have got to be on Red Alert again. Rent Braveheart, The Patriot, Schindler's List, and Pearl Harbor, and remind yourself that mankind is a wonderful species. There have always been good and bad and ugly. And right now, while we are speaking, and I see all this nonsense of United We Stand, while Americans continue to lie, cheat, vandalize, destroy, rape, murder, and abuse each other. And if you are buying dope, my friends, not only are you intentionally reducing your level of awareness so that you can guarantee yourself as a liability to this society, you are also financing people who have dedicated their their voodoo, jihad, numbnut devil lives to destroy us. And Homeland Security means one thing and one thing only. Keep your level of awareness up and a large weapon with massive ammo on hand. And you people go, hey, he's an extremist. Well, I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> You're damn right I am. I'm extremely in love with my quality of life that God has blessed me with. And I am extremely hateful of the evil that would deny my family and my fellow Americans that American dream. And if you want to interrupt my American dream and you want to take my life or, or jeopardize and threaten innocent lives on the street, I will shoot you twice in the chest, once between the eyes, and then I'll call 911 and have them bring a dustpan and a broom to clean up your jihad devil scum profiled ass drive safely. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody say hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Me. Reverend Theodore. That's how that works. If you've let your guard down, <clears throat> you are a you are a Grateful Dead fan. Enough with the tie-dye. 935. <laughs> How about some great white buffalo? Yeah, I am the great white buffalo. I just gave birth to a great white buffalo. We'll just let that vein in your head go down. No, I like no. it. I play I Ted, play tunes Ted. on it. Ted, <laughs> focus. I'm focused. The pen. I smell it a little different than you, focus breath. <laughs> God bless America. Ted Eat me. Eat me. Back with more Ted in a minute on the Tim and Deb Radio Show. That's that orange alert I'm talking about. Yes, man. Madhouse indeed. And my Classic rock, 90 for 9, WMMQ, the Tim and Deb Radio Show Ted Nugent, our special guest, with another twenty minutes or so. Wow! Quick reminder! Quick reminder! 
Mr. Energy Man. <laughs> yes, dog will man. Be, will be available. <laughs> Thanks. Well, we'll I be, love my dogs. Point. We'll be, we'll be, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going to come over and kick my ass. <laughs> come here, <laughs> fetch this, I'll Grandpa. I'll throw Krispy Kreme at you, pal. <laughs> 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 All right, anyway. so oh, yes. ass, ass over here is going to be at uh, <laughs> Ass Dog to you, pal. Outdoor Arama, Saturday, February 23rd. That's yeah. this Saturday. Yeah. Now, the MUCC deal is going to be big, and it goes for 10 days. Ted's uh, getting things going, though, on uh, Saturday, so be sure to stop by your uh, seminar. Your presentation is at 1 o'clock. Then after that, you can sign the book, yes, sir. and folks can come and meet you. And if I know you, you won't go till nope. everybody wants to meet you, meet you. I will be at the Novi Expo Center all damn day, and I really do invite people to come. My energy, my whole quality of life, my whole adrenaline celebration, the adrenaline orgy of the American dream is really what the Outdoor Ram is about. I really salute MUCC. They've gone through some hard times, but they got some new leadership coming in. We're really going to tackle some very important quality of Michiganiac life right here in Michigan. So please come to the Novi Expo Center. Ten new damn days. New album is a live CD, full Bluntal Nugget T yeah, on a the Spitfire label. <laughs> and of course, what's with the cookbook? Kill it <laughs> and grill it. Well, you can't grill it till you kill it, baby. Ah, <laughs> uh, your tuna salad, it's dead. <laughs> um, no, I celebrate the flesh. The flesh is a great vehicle by which the spirit can be delivered. I'm a hunter, a fisherman, a trapper. I'm real proud to be a life member of MUCC, which means that I am responsible with my fellow hunters and fishermen and trappers for managing wildlife to its healthiest, most balanced dynamic ever in recorded history. Since mankind, you know, raped the hills during the marketing destructo derby of the uh, buffalo slaughter and the marketing outrage of wildlife re resources. So uh, that's what the book is about. It's about celebrating that man is a hands-on, conscientious, reasoning predator is best suited to manage these renewable resources that bring us life. I don't care whether it's coal, oil, timber, or pheasants, you know. I thought it was a cookbook, Chad. It is a cookbook, but you can't... You can't, you can't flush it until you crush it. Are there recipes? <laughs> yes, recipes. Okay, there's, good. There's get to the freaking recipe. Well, you can't you have four. a barbecue without a recipe, son. I, you, here, here's the recipe. Ready? Okay. Kill critter, remove guts, drive safely. Okay. <laughs> well, I can't wait to buy that. <laughs> Shemaine and I collaborate on this. It's from Regner Publishing, the same as God, Guns, and Rock and Roll. And uh -huh. Shemaine has brought a real intensity and a real believability to this, uh, this common sense reality that you're your life, mankind as a species, is here for the single reason that we have eaten high-protein flesh. Sure. And there's nothing better than venison and quail and grouse and dove and bluegills and turkey and antelope and bear and moose and elk. And that's what we eat exclusively, along with lots, you know, literally tens of millions of American families uh, sustain themselves on an annual basis, to to a great degree, some like myself, exclusively on wild game meat. And there's nothing more healthy. Certainly, as great shape as you're in, Tim and Deb, over the years, I've known you guys for 100 years now, you've never been in better shape. No. You've obviously become more conscientious about the most important determining factor for your quality of life, and that is what kind of fuel you put in your body. Kill It and Grill It is a celebration of conscientious, intelligent diet, including massive quantities of pure protein from the wild pantry of mother nature mm -hmm. nothing is better for you man and when's that book out it'll be out probably in april if we're lucky you okay. know because we've been writing it during the hunting season okay. and it includes a lot of hunting stories and a lot of uh observations about you know the 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 embarrassing and even obscene pandemic of obesity in this country oh you know? we, we talk about it a lot oh, the if you, yeah. ladies and gentlemen all i gotta say is i love my fat friends i love my friends who smoke i think they're idiots but what you've got to do is when you get out of the tub, when you get out of the shower, be sure there's a mirror handy. And if there is blubber, please get to work on being more respectful to your gifts from God. That's the bottom line. And you, you know, I'm a grandfather now. My son, Toby, and Karen gave me a beautiful grandson, yeah, Jack good. Tobias. He is, we've already got him three guns. <laughs> uh, like his older brother Rocco, we hope he'll be Lee Harvey Nugent when he grows up. Um, and sniper boy. Uh, my my granddaughter Riley Star gave me a beautiful granddaughter Riley, and as a grandfather and as a husband and a and a father, I am compelled to love my family by making sure that they are conscientious. No drugs, no alcohol, no tobacco. We have wine. We drink wine. My brothers come for Thanksgiving and they drink beer with the meal. That's great. A beer is better than a Coke. 
You know, it really is. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I don't drink much pop. I drink Verner's, but mostly I drink a mocha in the morning. The rest of the day, I drink lots of water. Yeah. And I eat lots of venison and quail mm-hmm. and pheasant. And what I have seen out there at our camp for kids and when I do children's activities, and Tim and Deb, I'm the luckiest man that ever lived because when children, I don't understand it, but when they're dying, they call me. I mean, I've done this dozens of times with these little children get a hold of our camp for kids and our United Sportsmen. And before they die, they want to go hunting or fishing with Uncle Ted. And when they, when I see some of these children and some of their friends, and they are absolutely porkified. They are blubberous. Mom and dad out there, brothers and sisters, take a look at yourselves and your family. If there is blubber, if your children waddle, you are doing a great disservice to them. You've got to be conscientious about the quality of your food. There is no excuse for blubber. And I know some people have medical complications, but there's also a lot of excuse making out there. You know how you lose weight? You tell Mr. Hand not to grab Mr. Junk Food and put it in Mr. Mouth. Simple as that. Get off your fat, blubberous ass. Work out. I've got some firewood that needs cutting. I have some swamps that need monitoring. The ultimate health regimen is to hunt, fish, trap, get outdoors, run with the dogs, chase animals, and eat them in in moderation. All right, we have commercials to do. We've got to do those back in a minute with Ted. And yeah. MMQ. Classic Rock Nitty for 9 WMMQ, the Tim and Deb radio show. Ted Nugent on the air with us here. We've got uh, Tim and Deb and Keith and Ted all gathered around the radio. It's like a damn campfire. I feel like a marshmallow guy. All right, we're getting a lot of uh, pitching and moaning upstairs. We're not taking any phone calls. So we're going to take a couple of phone calls. Yeah. Hi, MMQ. Hello. Hey, I just wanted to know if you had asked Ted yet if he air guitars. You ask me. Okay. If, if I if I what now? If you play air guitar. Oh Tim's hell yes, man! Air guitar in there in the studio. He I answered play, that. I play air drums too. He air came, drums. He okay, came well, in here. See, I've been in the shower, so I might not have heard. All right, baby. I play air monster truck. <laughs> hey, hey, I registered for that, and oh my God, I so want to win because my husband and my brother will absolutely love me. I love monster trucks. I drive monster trucks. My I, seven-year-old daughter wants to go. She goes, Mom, can I go? There's great future in store for that woman. Your daughter, if she's into oh. monster trucks, she's going to be a real damn yeah, American. she wants to go hunting with my husband. I Come on, baby. She's like, can well, I'll I tell go you hunting what, with you, Daddy? What is your name? My name is Beth. Beth, you've got to come to the Outdoor Ramble. Bring your daughter to the Outdoor Ram at the Novi Expo Center. She will have the time of her life. And Beth, the most important thing about what we do at the MUCC Outdoor Rama is we turn kids on to the stimuli, to the challenge, to the fun, the party that is the outdoor lifestyle, and it oh, will yeah. forever upgrade her quality of life, I promise you. That. Oh, yeah, that's the way I grew up, so I know she'll love it. Come All on, right, darling. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put you on hold if you can hang in there, and we're going to sign you up for the uh, Redneck Dream Date, okay? Oh, I'm already signed up, hon. Oh, are you? Okay. Right, well, right, you, know, right. you know, Ted had a sign. He added a signed bullet to this. So. Yes, I know. I know. That's. I want to get it. It's right. a farm and, load. You'll and, love it. And I'll have you know that he did when he came into the studio at eight o'clock. The first thing he did, obviously, you were in the shower uh, soaping yourself. Yeah. Um, but between soapings, you might have heard Ted uh, exclaim how he does indeed play air guitar. Indeed. He did a fine job at the end of one of his songs when he walked in. Oh. So there you go. <laughs> Hang on. We're going to get you all signed up. Hi, MQ. Go ahead. Uh, talking to you, darling. Hello. Hello. Yep, hello, you're on the air Good with morning. Ted Nugent. Go ahead. Is uh, this where Ted Nugent is? Yeah, this yeah, I'm right here, Ted, Here he is. Here I am. What's your name? There? What's your name? Uh, Shirley Walker. Shirley, you're a country and western fan, aren't you? I can tell. You can hear it in the voice. I can hear it. Go ahead, Shirley. This is Ted. Well, hello, Ted. Good morning. This is Shirley with Mothers Against Drunk Driving. God bless you, Shirley. I am a mother against drunk driving. I salute. You know, Shirley, all across this nation, last year I did thousands of interviews, print and media and radio and TV and and Internet. And I want you to know that every time I get on, I very proudly exclaim and celebrate that I represent Mothers Against Drunk Driving because Mothers Against Drunk Driving is saving lives, and I salute you. Well, we, you and I, tied a red ribbon on your uh, vehicle. The big zebra Bronco, yeah, with uh, Steve Hanks down there at the Capitol. You bet. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, we're also going to even ask you to, uh, if you would like to serve on our new advisory board we're creating. Surely I would be pleased to because my number one drive of quality of the American dream is that of a, of a parent. And, you know, I uh, do an awful lot of benefits across the country and I get an awful lot of responses to families who have lost a loved one and oftentimes it's children because of drunk driving. And I cannot insist and demand and inspire and shame if necessary everybody out there to end to absolutely condemn the people that they know who drink and drive or almost drink and drive. We have got to bring this to an end. So, Shirley, I stand with Mothers Against Drunk Driving, so I'd be proud to be that. Thanks a lot, Shirley, for calling. I'm going to put you on hold. And guess what, Shirley? Yes. You're also signed up for the Redneck Dream Date. <laughs> All right. And God knows All we right. need to teach the Redneck Dream Daters how not to uh, drink and drive. Okay. Shirley, please call Linda down at the uh, Nugent headquarters. In fact, if I may give the number over the air, yeah. because everybody who wants to find out about this, the things that we're doing and about the camp for kids, mm -hmm. they can call 800-343-HUNT. Remember that, Shirley. It's 800 343 hunt and ask for linda and i would be proud to serve with all the dedicated folks at the mothers against drunk driving Mo motor city mad men with two d's that i take yeah, uh -huh. all right last call here hi mmq you're on the air hey tim kirk dewitt here how you doing today doing good sir say hi to ted hey ted how you doing buddy hello kirk happy almost springtime yes it is hey just imagine this sitting in afghanistan a couple of the missiles flying over the afghanistan uh al-qaeda people i like the vision already a little bit of uh, Ted Nugent rock and roll screaming down on them. Oh, man, that would really piss them off. When they'd probably take that there towel is. off their head and start shaving. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hey, hey Kirk, for Kirk, I'll tell you what, you know, my book, God, Guns, and Rock and Roll, was absolutely dedicated to the brave men and women of law enforcement and the military. And let me tell you, during a lot of battles across the country, starting way back in Vietnam, I have gotten a lot of uh, very proud correspondence from the dedicated warriors of the armed forces of the United States of America, uh, from the Army, the Marines, the Navy, the Air Force just the greatest heroes that ever lived where they used Amboy Duke and Ted Nugent music and during the Gulf War damn Yankee music to literally fire up the troops so that their 9 millimeters actually had a little more horsepower so uh, yes I take that to heart and I salute all the brave men and women of law enforcement and the military because they are the front lines of protecting the freedom that we are guaranteed in the United States of America. There you go, bro. Take care of yourself. You're also going to get signed up for the Dream Date. And we did answer some phones there, so that complaints Hammer. out of the way. Hammer. I'm all <laughs> signed up, baby. Okay, quick reminder, everybody. Tomorrow on the show, we will have uh, some passes to give away for the Outdoor Rama. And Ted will be down there on Saturday at the, the MUCC Outdoor Rama Novi Expo Center in Novi. Special presentation, The Spirit of Michigan Wild will be at one o'clock and Ted yeah. signing copies of his book right after that if you're interested and uh, he will be there he will be there until he leaves all day we're gonna probably start about eight in the morning tim it's the <coughs> novi expo center it's right there at the junction of uh 275 and 696 yeah. probably in the southwest corner. just take 96 straight down and really it, easy man it's real simple it's Absolutely. right there on the right hand even side i can find it yeah even you can find it <laughs> without my gps that's about it for the show uh thanks tim thanks thank you. deb thanks you're Keith. thank you Ted. yeah fun man thanks michigan i may if i may get a little corny here but i'm sincere Thank you, all you idiots out there who have supported this outrageous, gravity-defying career. People treat me just absolutely like blood brothers, like family members. I don't care if it's churches or feed mills, no matter where I go, Tim. And I thank all of you working hard, playing hard people out there for all these outrageous years of fun and rock and roll in my American dream. God bless you. All right, the new live CD, full Bluntal Nugent <laughs> Spitfire label is out there. The Kill It, Grill It cookbook coming in April. Oh He'll be in Novi on Saturday. Catch him on A&E's biography and VH1's Behind the Music. And uh, also, don't forget that TV show, Ted Nugent's Spirit of the Wild. Yeah, baby. With, I might add, one of the more talented voiceover talents doing the announcing it's ever. It's so sick, I can hardly stand your shirt. In the entire United States. <laughs> hmm, yeah, you know, you sm you actually come off like you're a campfire kind of guy in that thing. You bring a certain uh, attitude and edge to the Nugent campfire, almost like you're throwing rocket fuel on it. Well, we, well actually, I wore camo, and we dimmed the lights, and we had a little oh, fire burning when man, I recorded that. Man, I love when you do that. You put on that camo jock. Thank you very much <laughs> for coming, Ted. My yes, pleasure. Lord. Always fun and games. God bless the Tim and Deb Radio Get Down. God bless America. God bless the attitude. Be cocked, locked, and ready to rock. Remain on red alert. America. There you go. Take Enjoy care, your bumper Ted. sticker, too. Promise. Mm -hmm. All right.